All right, that's right. We're cooking something with beef and we're using a slow cooker and it's slow cooker beef and noodles. Yeah, slow cooker beef and noodles. I know it's gonna sound a little done, but hey, it's slow cooker beef and noodles. We're gonna dump everything here. There's no pre-searing, no pre-scoring or pre-cooking of the meat. We're just gonna put the beef in there. We're gonna let it cook six hours and then we're gonna shred it and then we're gonna throw in some noodles, some egg noodles and it's going to be delicious and it's going to be good so let's get started let's go dump this stuff let's make it happen all right here we are at whoa sorry about that here we are at the crock pot there he is we're using the big one and again we're going to dive in with the with the big liners here No, that's what I was afraid of. We're using a different brand of liners and I'm not too keen on it. It's a little small. They're a little small. It does say, the package does say that it does fit. So folks, be careful when you're trying out different ones, especially with meals. Um, because the last thing you want is for this to fall in and then, you know, it defeats the purpose of having it. So be careful, check your sizes, work with it. It might cost you, but it's a lesson learned, and that's a good thing. As long as you learn from it, don't keep repeatedly buying the same smaller ones or the ones that are just a bit too small. I mean, yeah, it's fine, it fits, but as we work with it, we don't want it to fall in. All right, so what's the first thing we need to do? It's just to throw in the beef. So let's get the beef. So here we go. Here's our pounds and pounds of beef. And, uh, Put that in there nice and neat. See what I was talking about? It's already starting to move up. Place the beef in the crock pot along with the broth. That's two cups of broth, onion, garlic powder, Worcester. There it is again. That will show the sauce that shall remain nameless. And Italian seasoning. One tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Alrighty. So let's go in here for the two cups of chicken broth there it is that's the H-E-B I'm not chicken beef broth no artificial flavors 100% pure beef broth and all right so we're gonna put in half of this all right let's go ahead and get this poured out two cups Hey, look at it. I got it right the first time. Two cups. See, look what it's doing to the plastic as it fills in. That's what I didn't want. So again, just saying, be careful. You learn your lesson as you go along. That's part of cooking. Lessons learned as part of cooking, so make sure you learn from them and not just repeat them. All right, so there's that. Here's our onion. And just, just chopped up. Drop that in there. Oops. There we go. There we go. And garlic powder, a tablespoon of that. There we go. Garlic powder, there we go. Some more Chestershire, two teaspoons of, of that sauce that shall remain nameless. There we go, about two teaspoons, give or take a teaspoon. And one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. That's parsley. cumin, lemon pepper, nope, that's oregano, Mexican oregano, yeah, found it, <laughs> but we found it, folks. All right, there it is, Italian seasoning. Finally found it. Sorry about that. 
And uh, so what are you looking at? One tablespoon of that. So. A little bit more doesn't hurt. All right, that's it. So, Worcestershire, yeah, or onion broth. That's it. So we're gonna go ahead, put the lid on it. I told you. So, oh my, yeah, I don't like that. There we go. And low for six to seven hours. Oh. And that's it. We're off and running, folks. All right. Let's go take care of some business. Hey. All right. Let's just take a moment. I want to thank everybody again for liking, subscribing, watching. Do appreciate you stopping by, watching the video, watching the show, uh, watching the recipes as they unfold, as they create something that's edible i i like them I, I wouldn't do them if i didn't like them but i do like them some of these i've gone in blind with them and and it's kind of like i had my doubts but for the most part they've been very very good uh again getting ready to go outside because uh it's about that time of year and uh so again don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell that way you know when i'm outside and making making you a new video and putting them out there for you this is still a lot of fun Alrighty, so um, again, thank you very much. All right, for those of you veterans, you know who you are, and you find yourself in that dark place. That we've all been there. All of us have been there. And uh, again, no one's immune. And it could happen at any point. Any little thing can do it. it. There's no specifics, and that that's that's the downside. Because if we could figure that out, we'd figure everything out, right? But that's that's not the case. The reality is, it's not the case. So again, don't forget, there is the veteran crisis line, and all you need to do is dial nine eight eight. And then press the number one when the automated attendant. Again, 988. Press when the automated attendant. You know what? It's going to be over. It's going to be over here this time. There we go. It's going to be on that side of the screen. All right. And with that being said, again, don't forget, make the call. That's there. They're there for you. They're there for you. And again, is you don't have to be a veteran. This is for everybody. But veterans, when you dial that 988, press the number one. That's it. They'll take care of you from there. Again. You can also chat online, visit the Veterans Crisis Line on the, on the web and chat online with them. Or you can text them at 838-255, 838-255. Again, make the call. Don't delay. Don't hesitate. You're feeling out of sorts. Something's just not right. Something just isn't jiving. You know what to do. Make the call. Don't hesitate. Don't delay. All right, listen. I mean it. I really do mean it. All right. So, again... Hope everyone's doing well. Again, thanks a lot for watching. Vets, make the call. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let's go ahead and finish this up. I think we got to do, we got to do some shredding and then we'll put the noodles in there. It's going to be delicious. Come on, let's finish this thing up. We're back. All right, it's many, many hours later, thousands of hours later. The house has been smelling like beef and slow cooker beef and, and the juices and the broth and, and the onions and the spices. It's been fantastic. All right, let's, uh, we got some work to do. One of the things is, well, we got to open up the lid here. Wow, remember how big that piece of meat was? Yeah, it's shrunk down. But that's all right, it's supposed to. Alrighty. Next, we're going to get a couple of forks, and we're going to go ahead and tear this down. Okay, I got two of the biggest forks I could find. Let's go ahead and, oh, look at that. Look how, oh, and it said it didn't have to be shredded. It just had to be broken down to bite-sized pieces. And uh, that's all we're doing. Now, be careful. If you're using the liner... You don't want to end up poking it with the uh, with the uh, fork. Look at that! Would you look at that? Oh, look at that! Look at look! It's oh my! And look at that! It's releasing other. It changed the uh, the color of the liquid. Oh, careful, I almost hit that. There we go. Got some good sized pieces there. All right, now it says add salt and pepper to taste. So with that, we're going to get ourselves a spoon. All right, a little tasty taste. Yeah, I can see, I can see why they say that. Oh, it's, it's very flavorful. Wow. 
white wafer foam. Okay, so we've got that. So we got our salt here. A little salt bay kind of thing going on. No, I no way. And let me spread a little bit more around here, get it all around, and just a bit over here. All right, there's that. And we're going to use our peppercorn medley. That's what we're using here, peppercorn medley. Because, folks, if you can crack corn like Jimmy can, I don't care. <laughs> Those of you that know, no. Alrighty. There we go, a little pepper all over. So we're going to give it a little stirry stir. That's a lot of pepper. That's all right. We should be doing good. Ooh, that does smell great. Onions, pepper. All right, now, the last thing it says to do, well, it's not the last thing, it's kind of next to the last. We're going to get some uh, wide, wide egg noodle, a pound of it. We're using 16 ounces or a pound, whatever whatever comes closest. And, uh, oh my! There we go. That's how you pair it. And it says um, use two forks, shred the beef into bite-sized pieces, and uh, season with salt and pepper. Add the noodles. One pound of egg noodles. There we go, yeah. Any given Sunday, folks. Any given Sunday. Uh, cover and set the crock pot to cook for another 10 to 20 minutes until al dente. I don't know who al dente is. If you know who he is, give him, tell me, give me a call because they're talking about him. No, seriously, until al dente. So it's not going to be completely um, floppy noodles. It'll have a little bite to it. Um, note the time will vary based on the noodle brand. Yes. So it will vary. But, you know, 10, 15, I'm going to give it 15 minutes and then come back and take a look at it. And it says to thicken the sauce, stir in cream or cornstarch slurry. Let it bubble for a few minutes until thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. Well, you know what? That turns it into beef stroganoff. That turns it into beef stroganoff. And we're not making beef stroganoff. We're just making crock pot beef and noodles. So uh, let's give it a shot just without... The, the slurry. Let me give this one. Let me get all these noodles wet here. Yeah, you can tell they're already sucking up the uh, liquid. All right, it's covered up. Here we go. There it is, right there. That's it, right there. So I followed the recipe. I, we ended up adding more of the um, of the broth because it was just the the noodles weren't making. They were not. They were too high up. The water was too down low, the liquid was too down low. We tried stirring it, but it still was keeping them, leaving them a little al dente. So we added the remainder of the uh, broth, the beef broth, and that took care of things. And uh, so, let's give it a tasty taste, see what this is all about. Slow cooker, beef, and noodles. Mmm, mmm, very tender is the meat. Noodles are done. Salt and pepper to taste afterwards. Uh, I know it says salt and pepper to taste while it's still in the machine. Uh, no, I would salt and pepper afterwards. I did add some Italian seasoning uh, to this. That helped it. Hey, it's really good. It's very good. All right. Hmm. Everything's good. Everything's done. Again, play with it. Play with it. The recipe might have just called didn't call for, but I do believe it needed more liquid. But other than that, we're good. Now it's good. It's all good. It's very tasty. Very, very nice. And on a cool evening, nice. Uh, it's even nicer. All right. Well, listen, I'm Dave Guerra. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, this fat cooks.